Let's face it, we are at a very critical juncture in the history of our nation. More than ever, Kenyans are yearning for leadership that will be respons respons responsible, which will responsibly manage the affairs of the nation with competency, accountability, and transparency. Therefore, envisioning a free, secure, united, and prosperous nation founded in the rule of law and equitable development, Kanu has set out its agenda for the nation through its Back to Business Manifesto of Change. This plan of action outlines our path to a resilient and developed Kenya that we desire. With deep appreciation of our past progresses, present uh, situations, and envisaged future. We lay particular emphasis on sustainable economy, uchumi nakazi, ICT, agriculture and food security, public finance and national debt, and we've said that we'll reduce that from 16 to 11% gradually over five years, and of course, corruption. Secondly, devolution. Taking services to the people's doorstep. And we've said that the, our point of acceleration is the word. Acceleration of development. Thirdly, social infrastructure. Mandeleo ya kijami, universal health care for all. Quality education, free and accessible secondary education, school nutritional programs under free school milk program. Maziwa Fresh. Start tonight, Maziwa Fresh. and quality, affordable, and decent housing through Nyumba Kwa Water. And of course, special interest groups. As a party, which I'd less like to say, there are many special interest groups, and of course our ladies come under that. And as a party, and personally, we, we were, and I am extremely, and I was revolted at what transpired the other day on the treatment of our ladies, of one lady, which occurred by some uh, hooligans. And that we will not tolerate and cannot tolerate whatsoever. <laughs> Fourthly, greening Kenya, Masingira Safi, environmental conservation and climate change action. Promote creation of green jobs in critical areas such as renewable energy and efficient transport, clean manufacturing, and sustainable agriculture. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the future. That is the future for us and for the generations to come. Fifthly, citizens' responsibility. In Chietu, Wajibu, Wetu. Responsible citizenship, recreating a purposeful public service and build a cohesive and inclusive nation. Ours is a commitment, not a promise. A commitment to look after the poor and marginalized. A commitment to remove the burdens that prevent a majority from prospering. And a commitment to restore the decency of living within our borders. But as we pursue this agenda, we recognize the fundamental place of the ideals of African socialism that we hold dear 
In everything we do, we are guided by a set of values and principle of equity, equality, and the respect of the rule of law, strict adherence to public participation, and above all, obedience to God. As a party, we assure Kenyans that we have reflected through the challenges that the country is grappling with and prescribed comprehensive, need-based, time-bound, and sustainable solutions. Yet, the common denominator at the heart of the downfall of most sectors of our country is the persistent crown of corruption. Consequently, this manifesto proposes punitive measures to curb corruption and discourage plunder of public resources. We owe the generations to come a nation where the price of engaging in corruption is ridiculously high and unaffordable. I wish to remind Kenyans that every election is a choice. However, as we exercise the most crucial civic duty in the forthcoming polls, we must remember that we have a country to guard and a future to secure. So yes, this election will be an opportunity to uphold the dignity of our people and to draw a line between their fears and the hope of a better future. I invite you to join us in this solemn task to put Kenya back on the path of prosperity. We are back to business. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank particularly uh, the organization Conrad, Edwin and team for all the assistance that you've given us and held our hand for us to reach to this stage. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I'd also like to send Professor Mugambe and his team, Fred, all of you, thank you very much for the magnificent job that you've done to have reached where we've reached. So this document is as much as it is Kanu's, it is your document and be proud of it. My friend there, um, I'm very proud of you, seriously. And I think all of us as, as now we are all aspirants, I think. We'll be looking at this document, remembering you, and this is a document which will be exposing on when we are on Jukwa and when we are talking to our people, because this will be a, it's a competition of ideas. And I think we have the best idea, ideas for this country, and you're the ones who made it possible for us to be in this position. So thank you very much. It's greatly appreciated, all those who made it possible. Two. My brother, Bafadil, who wants to leave us, an attack at the Atuache, he can pick up the Mwezi Anani Tare Tare Tisa. Najua Suezi Kukufunga, Lakini Vile Nitasema, Nangoja Le Report a Doctor. Watching some of your report. Patient pays. Patient pays. And in anything we do, it's always important we go together. Sinzuri, you watch Mtotomoja. You must get all of us carry and we all move. It's important. God bless you all. Thank you very much. <laughs>